Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate radiation power plant guide for 0 0.85. If they don't change anything, this will be your ultimate guide to make money from the power plant um, in 0 0.9 as well. So on the map at the moment, I am just off the C0 sector where radiation starts. I'm close to the river. I've got blueprints marking my way down so I, I, no one can see me basically from that side because of the uphill and then maybe someone will be able to see me from that side, you know, but the chances are very likely there's a log lying down here that covers my chest. I can bury the chest if I want to. What I want you to have in the chest is at least five water bottles, um, four pieces of watermelon, ten soap, a uh, gigantia mushroom, a uh, Giga counter, and then warm clothing for when you come back, okay? I made it a ghillie suit. You can make it basically whatever you want. You just don't want to freeze to death when you come back. Then for this expedition, we're taking two yellow screwdrivers, six advanced lockpicks, five normal lockpicks that you can get quite easy. This you can get from cargo drops. This you can get from the hospital, various um, places on the map. You need a bottle of potassium, um, and then you need a respirator, okay? I am, so long, going to eat um, or potassium, okay? Every potassium gives you about um, 21 minutes of protection, okay? As you guys can see there, um, one tablet is equal to 21 minutes. I'm eating four giving me about an hour and a half. And then if I go to my metabolism, okay, I want to wait until that's at least 100% before I go in, but we're going to go in before that. So all I've got with me is a Dao sword to protect me from close quarters combat. I've got an MP5 SD with, with, with a suppressor so that I don't attract too much puppets. I've got it on single shot taking the potassium with me because you can't run in the radiation zone or at the power plant um, protecting yourself against suicide puppets are very very important because if you get if your suit gets damaged you will need duct tape but I'm going to try and do this without duct tape because the suit's at 100% the radiation will destroy the suit a bit as well but you're only going to receive the suit's only going to start leaking radiation at about 80% if you don't have a weapon or you're scared you will get hit or you're scared you won't be able to not get hit by puppets please take duct tape with you it's the only way to repair your hazmat suit and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive in there with a motorcycle. Motorcycle can't take any inventory space, but it is a very, very fast way to get in there. So as you go drive down this road, again, you can't run with the radiation suit on you. So getting in there a bit faster will help you over the long run. Where you leave this bike is completely up to you. I want to leave it as close as I can. I don't want to get too close to the power plant in case there are players at the power plant. I want to make sure I stay at least 100 meters away from the power plant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the bike right here, okay, in this bush, the closest bush to that. Just going to leave the bike right inside here. And now we're going to go into the power plant. You will see my suit is still at 100%, but it is starting to take damage now because I'm in the radiation. So you will see the 99.7. It will go to 99.6 at some time. I need to urinate because I drank myself full um, at the river. Okay, I already drank uh, my stomach full with water. That's why I want to pee. But it's fine. Um, I'm not going to pee. I'm just going to pee in my pants. 
And the new addition to this guide um, is the graphite. I haven't really focused on the graphite in the past, where now I am going to focus on the graphite to see how much it sells for. Okay, so there's suicide puppets, which are very, very, very dangerous. Having an awareness skill will help you a lot so that you know where the suicide puppets are. Um, getting rid of the suicide puppets is a very, very good idea. But I mean, if you can stay away from the puppets, you should. This is completely vanilla settings, puppet wise, loot wise, okay? So this is as vanilla as it's going to get. There's a suicide puppet. You want to focus on the suicide puppets because they can do the most damage to you. <laughs> and then you just want to relocate through bushes, even if the puppets are going to go to where you shot from. You still want to go through the bushes to break their line of sight. And then yes, how you loot this place completely up to you. Just remember that your suit will take damage over time. And one thing that I didn't focus on is the um, graphite. Okay, so the, the graphite spawns in like rubble and I want to give Luna Dark um, and her team credit on the tree immersion server, the members only server for giving me a breakdown of where the graphite can spawn. So graphite spawns in like rubble, rubble spaces like this, okay? Um, but you must be able to search it. So you must just look for the rubble spaces. We're just gonna go through here. Make sure a suicide puppet doesn't get too close to us because that's gonna hurt the suit. And then of course, using single shot just re just reserves your ammo. Okay, no need to bring in major weapons in here. And you guys can see even on vanilla settings, it's quite rough. And all I want to focus on is the suicide puppets. I don't really care about puppets. But I want to listen for suicide puppets. So yeah, guys, um, you can loot this place at your time, okay? I don't know exactly where all the graphite is. I just want to give you a nice um, short run of the power plant. As you can see, the power plant is very, very big. Um, I don't think everyone has discovered everything at the power plant, okay? So it's very important to just look at everything to see if you can search it and um, we are going to search for graphite when we get to the power plant but like i say it's important just to look at everything and now we're just basically going as close to the power plant as we can get and i like to take the front entrance you can take whatever entrance you would like um I was actually aiming, the reason I went around that side is because Luna Dark then showed me where there was a pile of cement, but I clearly missed it, okay? I clearly, clearly missed it because I didn't find the pile. But as I say, you know, just looking at all the rubble um, is a good idea, but we're gonna get, we're gonna get to the main loot right now. I don't think I've ever sold um, graphite before, so it's going to be quite interesting for me. And I, they have, um, they have got a, you know, they have got a very fast way to get in and get out. I'm, a, I'm an addict to, you know, things that I find quite um, fast so I'm just going to stick to my entrance um, the exit is where the value is because that's when you get to the graphite okay so all I do is I come in here open this door and they take the first entrance over here I always take the second entrance 
and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run up the entrance and this is basically where we are at the power plant so you can come you know we stopped here you can come around like this you can take a direct route here whatever you would like we're just going to go up here check the suit so long suit is still suit is still good we're just going to keep on going up these stairs We're not going to be distracted by anything we're just going to go straight up the stairs as soon as we get here we're going to go to this side as soon as we can't go up anymore we're going to go to the other side go up these stairs and then as soon as we can't go any further we're going to open this door okay so the graphite that we can look for is the graphite that looks like that okay um as i say i haven't really searched these piles um properly um but we're just going to focus on the route to get in here okay uh because i'm going to show you what the graphite piles look like so here oh they took a much safer route they went up there which is a lot safer I basically just go here and that was a very 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 close I could have hurt myself there and the and the hazmat suit that would have been really 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 bad and then I just drop down here and I drop down here okay now I don't know if you can search anything here I don't think they ever went close here but again you guys can take your time and search every pile that you want to search but to lockpick these is very very important is very very difficult so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to turn my guard mode off um so just set the guard mode to false okay so that i can lockpick this and what i do is i remove the hazmat suit and then i put on the the respirator and i think the potassium is now at 120 percent so the potassium is protecting me so what i'm going to do now is take off the hazmat just drop it there and put on the respirator by pressing three okay i can just quick slot that and now we can lock pick this quickly um so yeah having good lock picks helps a lot and I'm a very, I'm a very average lock picker. So I'm just going to see what I can do here. A having good lock picks is of course very, very important. So that you can feather it. It's very difficult to feather it without that. As you guys can see, I haven't lock picked in a while here. But just going to take our time here. We've basically got 60 tries, roughly 60 tries. And you are you are gonna get lucky like that you're gonna get lucky and you can search this take the uranium put the suit back on go to the second one okay and then once again we're gonna take this off press three to put the respirator on you can use a gas mask as well and then we should be able to do this a little bit faster if you ask me There we go we can still get lucky okay search it this is good because you can put the uranium in here okay um let's see oh you have to take it out put it back in there that protects you from the radiation from the uranium okay and i want to i just want to put the suit here I'm wasting a bit of time now i should have just put the suit on immediately and then gone here take the suit off press three lockpick this quickly and like i say we are going to get lucky at some point like i say um what i told you to bring in that is what i brought in okay so not doing anything fancy we're going down here this is going to be a dead end you're going to go through this red light over here 
and that brings you to this door. As soon as you open the door, you're going to get a door behind this door, which will bring you into the main room. And then once again, you can lockpick these. Okay. As you guys can see, very relaxed, don't really care what happens. Gonna put the hazmat on again. There's two of them over here. Gonna crouch down over here, take the hazmat suit off, put the put the um, respirator on. And hopefully I can start improving a bit here, or I can get lucky, that helps as well. So we're gonna take another one here, put that one there, put it in there this one there we go you will get lucky at some point I am very very um, unpracticed with lock picking I haven't done a kill box in a very very long time again I'm just gonna drop it put the respirator on lock pick this one Now we're getting to the medium ones. Got lucky there, which is good. Gonna do this one. Got lucky there as well, or not lucky. I at least feathered, feathered that one a little bit. Gonna put the suit on. And like I say, guys, this is vanilla, okay? Vanilla loot, so this is roughly the experience that you're going to have. Put the respirator back on. Got lucky over there. I'm adapting to the smoothness of it. There we go. Got lucky with that one as well. There we go. One. And I can quickly go over to this one. As you guys can see, very, very rough. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna put those two in there. Gonna put that there. Gonna put on the hazmat suit. Gonna quickly do this one over here. Same process. Of course, I am doing this with advanced lock picking, guys. I'm sure you guys can see. Not the best lock picking in the world at the moment. Uh, getting very unlucky there at the sweet spot. Very, very unlucky according to me. You can luck pick as well. My luck picking isn't working out yet. There we go. Got another one. Putting that over there. Uh, putting the suit on again. There are a few that I skipped, but it doesn't matter. Our success rate isn't very, very good at the moment. Putting the respirator on, going again. I hope I can get another one. Okay, and that's it. Okay, you're gonna have 23 yellow screwdrivers left. We are done now. Um, we can pee so long because we need to pee. So without the suit, you can pee so long. And what the peeing is going to do, it's going to get rid of some of the radiation presence. Not really going to help you a lot 
you know, but you can pee quickly. As you can see, the radiation is going up. So it doesn't really, really help us. It's actually stupid to pee inside here. But in any case, so what you do now is you go out this door. And then, I think they said left. Yeah, you go out the door, you go left. And then you go left again. So you're going to keep on the left side. And then you go one level down. You go down here. So this is where I'm following their um, their exit plan. I would just go down there to get out of the place. Um, but they've got a way to get to the uranium. Or the graphite. The graphite, sorry. So we're going to open this door. And then they say just stick to the edge. My parkour skills are quite good. So don't really need to fear that. And then right here is where you can start searching for graphite. Okay, so we can search this one. No, no graphite there. I think all the piles are the same. Um, and there we find the graphite. Okay, graphite isn't very, very big at all. But like I say, these are things that you're going to have to search. And you can go down here to see if there's anything else to search very easy to see what you can and cannot search you just look down if there's a search option you can search it if there isn't a search option you can't search it and sometimes you're going to get lucky sometimes you're not going to get lucky there's another graphite so as you guys can see it's just normal piles that you search and the piles could have graphite inside them Okay, so there we find another graphite. So you can come in here even if you don't know how to lockpick. You can still come in here. As you guys can see, I'm trying to get creative with where I'm searching. I just want to see if there's anything else there. They've got a safe way. Okay, I won't call it a safe way. They've got a way to get down here. Uh, you guys know me. I like very, very creative ways. Um, they said they jumped onto something, which looked good, really looked good when they jumped onto something. But of course, the radiation is becoming a problem now. Um, because it's at 33%. The, the suit is protecting me at the moment, so they jumped down here. Okay, they jumped down there. That hurts the radiation suit, and I'm I'm planning on doing this without hurting the suit. So I think maybe taking the ladder is a you know I think taking the stairs is a bit of a better idea. Not too shabby. And then, yeah, you can exit whichever way you want to exit. Of course, we all know which side I'm going to exit. There are other piles here. It was close to a power. It was close, close to a power plant or something. Now, again, I don't want these suicide pups to get close to me, but I have to go through them. Okay, I clearly got hurt there. Oh. Clearly got hurt there unintentionally. Not a lot, not a lot, so that was good. Two suicide puppets and I didn't even identify them. That was very, very bad. I couldn't I even identify that they are suicide puppets, but yeah, it's at a pole. Um, you guys can search the entire power plant, okay? There are other graphite piles. Um, and yeah, Luna Dog did post a video in my Discord section um, under under um, under my YouTube videos. She did show what they did. So there is another, there is more graphite here, but we're not going to go after the graphite now. We're just going to see how we can get out of here to not make the video too long. And I mean, I'm ke keeping this uncut, guys. Um, I must say that was a terrible 
lock picking experience i think more than half um, my community can probably lock pick better than that um yeah so yeah with advanced thievery that was quite bad but like i say we're just going to jog back to the bike now we are getting a r a r s c1 as soon as it goes to um c3 or c4 we're basically dead nothing can save us but as long as it's an ARS one, it's fine. So we're just gonna take our time. I've got a compass. I'm gonna jog all the way to the water. You cannot drink or eat anything while you're at the power plant. You can't drink or eat anything while you're radi well, while you're in the in the radiation. It will poison, it will radiate you internally. And getting rid of internal radiation is way worse than getting rid of external radiation. Okay? So we're going to go back to our bike. The potassium is still in, so gave ourselves more than enough time. Now we're going to take the bike out of here. Again, it's much, much faster like this. Okay. First thing you're gonna do now is take off all the uh, get all the radiation gear on you. Okay. You are gonna yes, you are gonna freeze your butt off, but that's not something you need to worry about. You're gonna take off all the gear you had on you. Okay. And then you're gonna go swim because swimming gets rid of the radiation up to 15 percent Apparently not anymore. <laughs> okay, so not completely sure how they want you to get rid of the radiation. Just want to see if it's because I had anything on me. Okay, there. We just had to take absolutely everything off us, guys. The, the two guns still had radiation on them. So now you're going to get rid of the radiation up to 15%. The rest you are going to have to pee out, and that's why we got all those things to eat. So I think it's 14%. I'm just going to keep swimming until 14%. There the ARS goes down, so we're already safe for now. We're going to take it up to 14%. Our effective radiation is clean. And I think it's going to stop at 
Okay, 14.9. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And now that we've solved that, we're going to take our clean stuff out of the... Out. Okay, we're going to wear our clean clothing so that we don't freeze to death. And we are going to wash our gun completely. It's very important to have the gun with us so that um, we don't die or something. So we're just going to run over here, get into the water a bit like this. And then we're going to decontaminate all. Okay, and there everything is decontaminated, so the gun, the gun isn't radiated anymore, and you can always test that by seeing that you, you're not getting radiation anymore, or you can just take your Giga counter, okay, and um, put it in your hand, and turn it on, okay, but you are going to need a battery, we forgot about the battery, but in any case, um, for now, that is your indicator, that it has no more radiation on it. This is going to need a battery, so one thing that I forgot is to ask you to bring a battery. Okay. Um, and you can just get, you know, you can just get these little blue batteries that are very, very cheap. You're going to put them inside there, and now we'll be able to put it on. And you can see that is still radiated. It says the, the magazine is still radiated. So we just want to get back to the water and then we want to decontaminate that. Okay, now we're completely clean. We put that back on. You can see there, it's still on. We don't see any radiation. So that's perfect for us, okay? And now the only thing that we need to do is decontaminate all of these items. Okay, we can just put all of these um, items into the chest or we can just decontaminate all of them okay so that's what we can do without infecting ourselves we can just quickly decontaminate all of this okay we don't we don't care about the clothing so we're just gonna go like this we can have another chest guys you can make another chest okay call it the clean chest if you want to it's fine with me So now we, I just want to get into the water again without falling into the water. Okay, so those items are too far away from me. I'm going to put the items closer to me. Okay, got to get into the water again. There we go. And now I'm just going to decontaminate all with the soap. Gonna put it back into my hand to see what's contaminated. Gonna de gonna wash all. There's not a decontaminate option, so I'm gonna have to wash all. Takes that, wash. And we can go, we can just check what has got, still got contamination on it. So that's contaminated, we wash that. This contaminated, wash all. Okay, so we're gonna need more soap, which is not a problem. It's gonna come here. I only used two soap there. So this is five soap in total. So we're gonna come here. Go back to the water here. Um, wash all. So I'm going to put this on my quick slot so that I don't 
take longer to do this. Okay. Wash. Five. Okay, so now that's clean. Gonna see wash all. Because this item must protect you from the radiation of the uranium. Um, wash all. This uranium container is supposed to protect you from the radiation inside there. Okay. Wash. And there we go. Everything is clean. Okay. Absolutely everything is clean. Um, so now we can wear that. We can put the hazmat. We can just take whatever's in that in, in this. We can put that on us. We can put that on us. And what you know, we are clean as a whistle. Okay, we haven't lost anything. We're not interested in those items that are lying here. And now we need to pee. It's very, very important to pee now. One way to pee is to eat a mushroom. A mushroom is going to give you a water intake. As you can see, their water is 100 milliliters. And I, you must stop it before food repulsion activates. Now you're going to eat um, a watermelon, which is going to give you a ton of water again. So we're just eating different stuff to pile up the, the water. Okay. As you guys can see, a watermelon gives you a heck of a lot of water. We're going to take that to about... You know, we're going to eat the entire watermelon. But I don't want to fill up my stomach too much. So now I'm going to eat another, another of the Gigantia. And just stop the food repulsion before it hits max. Okay, and now I want to drink water. This is giving me three circles of water intake. Which is going to make me pee really, really, really fast. Okay. And there we go. We're going to wait for our bladder to hit um, 100%. And then we're going to pee. Okay, but we're in no rush now. So... None of this is radiated. We can take all of this with us. Take the soap with us. Okay. And that was a successful run. We are not in danger anymore at all. So now we're going to um, take the bike. The bike won't be radiated because if we get on it. We're not getting any radiation. And now we're going to drive to the, um, to the trader and see what we can get. Even with our bad lock picking that we did. Okay, so here we are at the trader. Let's see what happens over here. So, we got 16,000 for this because we basically went in there empty-handed. We can't sell that. We're getting 2,000 for the graphite. Okay, guys, so you can still make money in the power plant even if you don't know how to lockpick and even if the radiation is daunting to you, which hopefully it isn't, after I've showed you step by step what to do. Okay. And we basically got. We got five uranium. That's very, very, very bad. Okay. But I mean, if we fold that up, if we, I mean, getting eight uranium is not that difficult. Okay. Um, so if we got eight uranium, that would have been 25,000. Okay. So. Not bad right. money for Let's about 20 minutes. Of course, you have to get the screwdrivers and the advanced lockpicks or something like that. If you're really good, you can do it with bobby pins because our whole system revolved around using the respirator in conjunction with the, with the suit. And you guys saw that I kept the suit off me very, very long, but the potassium is extremely important. Okay? So, yeah. Now I can sell just what I found. By just selling what I found, I made 22,000. Okay. 
not bad for 45 minutes of work. And um, yeah, you get the you get the advanced lock picks and the medium lock picks and the screwdrivers by playing the game naturally and going after cargo drops. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, I'm glad I didn't show you guys where all the uranium is. I always like to keep you guys guessing or give you guys something to explore yourselves. But now you know to search absolutely everything at the power plant. You know how to get to the uranium. You know how to get to the graphite. And if you've got any more tips for the community, please leave it down in the comments below. And yes, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. It helps the channel a lot. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, then click that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys next time. And once again, thank you, Luna Dark and team. I appreciate you guys. And if you want, guys want to play on a very, very friendly server, um, the, my members only serve at True Immersion. as a really great community, and you can join for as little as $5 per month over there. Have a great day, guys. Cheers. Before I forget, guys, keep on eating your mushroom and your watermelons and your fresh water. We are at, our radiation is going down naturally in any case because we squeaky clean. But let's say we're at 30% now every time you pee when you're at 100%. Okay, we're at 13%. We're going to pee once. And that, that removes about 1.6 radiation. Okay, so we're going to have to pee about eight more times. We're going to have to keep eating the mushroom. Okay, keep eating the right mushroom to keep that circle full. Just stop it before, you know, you throw up and lose all the food in your stomach. And then you're going to have to eat a little bit of... Um, yeah, of the watermelon, and after some time, everything will go away. Have a fantastic day, and enjoy surviving. Cheers.